Well, Jadena was right. People want to be the king. People want to have the rings, but long live the chief. This is what had happened was on Clash of Champions. Play music. What's really good, guys? It's your boy, Spider Minutes, aka D Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, Madeira, the one who holds it down for me, my co host, Daria. Say what's up, Daria. Throw it to you. What's up, Daria? And welcome to what happened was our pay per view recap show for the channel. We had Class of Champions this past Sunday. I know we are incredibly late, but as we said in a previous video, that we had a lot of stuff going on with the family, so we had to take a back seat on a few things, but we are here, right here, right now, to tell you what had happened during that particular pay-per-view before we get started. Y'all know the drill. If you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon, because we got videos for you every day on day and once you get notified for everything from wrestling to movies to video games to anime, whatever we find absolutely interesting, we want to bring it right to you. Also, like into the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our kind of people. Now let's get it going. Clash of Champions. This one was a surprisingly good pay-per-view, and it really had no right to be because of nope. the, the few things that we thought w uh, ended up being pretty good. Um, just I kind of shed on this pay-per-view, I believe. A little bit. No, I think I... I, mm, I piquito. No, I think I did more than... Mm, piquito, mm, piquito. You, you, you kind of did. Uh, but this one was actually a pretty, a pretty good one. Uh, so we're just going to give you a brief recap of what happened and then tell you what we think is going to be happening moving forward. Uh, so let's go ahead and start us off with the pre-show match we had. Uh, we thought it was going to be, uh, because it was listed as a pre-show match, mm -hmm. uh, we thought it was going to be... Uh, 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 Oscar and Selena. Thank you. I don't know why I kept saying Olya, Alicia. Oh, because we just watched NXT and then we got NXT takeover yeah. Sunday. Oh, so it. yeah. So much work. Yeah. But uh, it was Oscar versus Zelina Vega. That was supposed to be on the pre-show. But things changed. Like, for instance, we do not, uh, Nikki Cross was not in the SmackDown Women's Championship match. And we did not have the, the, the Women's Tag Team Championship match at all whatsoever. Also, apparently, at least well, what, I've, what I've read, Retribution was out for a minute, so they didn't have any involvement in this either. So on our pre-show, we ended up getting Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Lucha House Party, and it, this one was gonna be uh, Kaliso versus Lissa Dorado. A really good match, nice, fun, energetic, high, uh, high intensity match uh, for what it was. They have a lot of really great chemistry, uh, but Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura end up getting the win on this one. And we also did not get any continuation of any particular storylines or uh, the constant schism in the team. So we're, I guess we're going to be seeing that this upcoming, well, tonight, I guess, when this goes up. Yeah. Uh, this upcoming Friday, uh, I hope we get some, some new stuff happening right there uh, because you know, that, that that was one of the most interesting parts about this was what's going to happen between Kalisto, who, again, I absolutely love seeing back, and the rest of the Lucha House Party, Lince Dorado and uh, Grand Mentally. We don't know. Hopefully we find out this Friday. Um, we then move on to the main card. We start off with probably my favorite match, like actual working match of the night, which was the triple threat ladder match between Jeff Hardy uh, Sami Zayn and AJ Styles. Yes. This was a lot of good bumps, a lot of high flying Jesus. action. Okay, so this match, I could have sworn I thought it was going to be some real injuries. Yeah, because Sami got thrown around into ladders. He there was a spot where he got thrown into a ladder, ricocheted off into the road, yeah. back into the ladder, back into the ladder a little bit again. Yeah. And it was like halfway through the match, they're like, hey, let's zoom in on Sami's back and it's Beat red yeah. and a little bit it bloody. Like it's like, uh, he looked, it looked a mess. Yeah, Jeff it Hardy looked like a Scottish egg. But just oozed with blood. That's what it looked like. Jeff Hardy took some bumps too, like a rag doll, thrown oh, yeah, all, the way, uh, all the way around. And the finish was probably like one of my best. It's the yeah. dumbest finish. It is. The, it's the best finish. I mean, it's classic Sami Zayn. Yeah, it's it's like, when I say dumb, I don't mean it was unintelligent. No. It was not well done. Yeah. Like, if you're looking at this and you're, you're sitting here, like, if you suspend your disbelief in yeah. wrestling, you're going to be like, this is dumb. Yeah. But it's the good kind of dumb. Yeah. This was dumb. Was. Sami Zayn handcuffs, ear cuffs, 
Low. Jeff Hardy. Ear lobe cops Jeff Hardy <laughs> yeah. to a ladder. Yeah. Through the open gate, cuffs a cuff and yeah. cuffs a cuff at an old tiny ladder. It's like, ha ha. It was like, <laughs> why? It, yeah. And yeah then, like, it's like, what's going on in your brain, Sammy? What's then, happening? Then he goes to do the same to AJ Styles. AJ fights back and then he, ha ha, I'm handcuffing me to you now, yeah. style. And becomes dead weight. Dead weight for AJ. To where AJ had to actually physically lift Sammy. Over his shoulders yes. and climb him up the ladder. But oh, oh Jeff, just because you cuffed my earlobe to a ladder. Yeah, I'm not out the game. Doesn't yet. mean I'm out the game. Carrie, the whole time like this, tried to beat AJ. That was the dumbest thing ever. I think ever. this was one of my favorite matches of the evening. That's just, that just definitely was. This was one of them. But Sammy outsmarts them all, spits yeah. out a key, un uncuffs himself. Buffs AJ but, while on the ladder to the ladder. By the way, and Sammy, just up. COVID. Sorry. Yeah, it was nasty. Sammy. Nasty. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was one of my favorite matches of the night. Sammy Zayn technically retains the championship because he never relinquished it. He never really retains the IC championship. Yes. And he is the lone IC champion yeah. uh, for the night. Then we had Oscar versus Selena Vega. This is a sleeper match for me because I didn't expect this one to be really, really good, even though I do like Zelina. Oh, yeah. This was a very good match. Oh, very good, yeah. They could have easily made this a squash match. Yeah. It was not. This was a very damn good match uh, between these two. Zelina and Asuka, I think, have some great chemistry because they just ran uh, this match again. They ran it yeah. back on Raw, and again, okay. very good very match. Very good, yeah. So I'm expecting some big things from Zelina somewhere down, in, yeah. down the line. Uh, Asuka did a great job, of, of course, course she's, it's Asuka. she's always there. Uh, there was a nice spot where Zelina tried to uh, get, uh, the way this finish was, was also great, Zelina tried to get Asuka into a prawn hole. Asuka's like, nope, put her into the Asuka lock and just tapped her out and it was yeah. great, I loved it. Yeah. Go see those past two matches. Uh, uh, Asuka retains the championship. Now, from here on, it gets weird yeah uh Maybe because just a little bit yeah a little bit because again we get bobby lashley versus uh apollo cruz the same old same old mm -hmm. bobby lashley ends up getting the win now this one we predicted that retribution would show up this is before we figured out uh, we found out that retribution was going to be mia for maybe the next couple of weeks yeah. uh which would have been a, a, the spice on this these two are great yeah. the match was very serviceable but if you've seen it like three or four times, which you basically have, yeah. you're done with it. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's find let's find something else for these people to do. Or let's give a combination where it's much more exciting. Yeah. This was not the most exciting match. It was again a circle match, great people yeah. in the ring. Bobby Lashley retains moving forward. Uh, then we had a very weird match between Street Profits, Andrade, and uh, Angel, Angel Garza. Garza yeah. Apparently, Angel Garza suffered a hip injury during this match. Maybe that's what led to the weirdness, but it felt a little sloppy. It felt a little bit, eh. It was hard for it, me to, it was hard for me I, and the rest of the call to get into this. Yeah, I, I want to say the more sloppiness was Andrade and. Uh... I don't Angel. know. I don't know. Who, I'm not going to put it on anybody. Well, yeah, I but, guess you couldn't, but it just seemed like that's where the awkwardness kind of came it, from. It just felt like an odd because they, they yeah. have better chemistry. They put on better do. matches. Yeah, they this. do. Uh, but uh, Street Profits end up retaining off of a weird finish where I, it's it's like yeah. did they did they intend it? I don't know. It, it just felt weird. Uh, but Street Profits end up retaining this. Uh, we found out Bailey comes out because the cross again is not around. And she's like, ha, 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 I want to give uh, an open challenge to everybody. What, what, nobody's here? I guess I win. Yeah, yeah. Oscar's music plays. And I'm glad we have some continuity with this because yes. Oscar comes out and she just, you know, basically is trying to beat Bailey from post to post, but Bailey yeah. gets herself disqualified with a chair shot. And out of nowhere, Sasha. Sasha back. comes back. Sasha comes back, hits she her with a chair. Back. Oh, she came back with that chair. Oh, yeah. We thought, you thought that she was going to get herself wrecked. I, I in, did. In the middle of this beat down. I but did. then what happened? No, that didn't happen. What happened? What she, happened? she, she, okay. So th this is what it looked like when she came back on the screen. Cause I was like, okay, Sasha, you could have just come back and get your ass kicked by Bailey. Yeah. When, when Bailey has done all of this. All of this. Yes. No, she didn't. She came to collect her check and she, she got it. She got she her got check. It. So I was wrong again. Yep. Shut up. <laughs> so that's what made this awesome. This is what makes me continue to fall in love with Bailey. Hey, yeah, I know we had this storyline, but this something about this storyline is working. like, working. I kind of like this. Yeah. I kind of like this. 
But Bailey retained via disqualification. Yes. Sasha Banks is back. Via still disqual- with it. Disqual- disqualification. What is that? He said disqualification. I said disqualification. Via disqualification. Anyway, she still has a little soft little brace around her neck. Uh, yes. For Sasha Banks. Uh, so we're going to see what goes on moving forward. Now this next match, the call was split when when, when we had this next match: uh, Drew yeah. McIntyre versus Randy Orton. Yeah. The call was split mainly because everybody that Randy Orton beat up sans uh, Edge uh, and Beth Phoenix, I think, also everybody that Randy Orton beat up on his way to try to take the title off of Drew McIntyre showed up to help out Drew McIntyre. Mm-hmm. And on the one hand. Some people liked it because it continued the story between all of them and it makes yeah. sense for them to come out and beat the crap out of them. On the other hand, it didn't make Drew look strong it at did, all. It did not, and I hated it because, again, this was another awkward match. Yeah, it was It was pretty... Like, yeah. there were some good spots. Like, for instance, uh, 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 Drew gets slammed into the, the ambulance and yeah. he gets his back lacerated uh, when Shawn Michaels shows up on top of the ambulance and... Sweet chin music's Randy Orton just kind of like yeah. pushes them off. Like those some nice spots. They were but really was, good and interesting. Yeah. But at the same time, it's it was a five on one handicap match. Yeah. So. And it just it didn't do anything for Drew, and Drew didn't necessarily need it because Drew can. Drew could have did it by himself. Yeah, but I say Drew can hold his own. Like it's Drew McIntyre. Now Seriously. moving forward, they're playing on the fact that he injured his right leg hitting uh, the claymore on an open ambulance door and knocking it uh, off his yeah. hinges. Uh, and also on this past Monday again, because since we, you know, yeah. didn't do it immediately after because we were on the road at the time. Uh, on this past Monday Night Raw, uh, Randy Orton, one of the better things, which again, a lot of the fun yeah. stuff that they that they're doing on this show, uh, on, on these on these shows, they they should be reserving it for the big nut of retribution that they yeah. that they played on, yeah. but they never do. Like for instance, Montez Ford getting poisoned, that should have been a retribution storyline. Not been. Selena Vega, that has not been resolved No, at yet. all. It has not. And Randy it's Orton not. coming up to the legends with the with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the night vision goggles and beating them up. Yeah. That should have been retribution. It should have been retribution. But they gave it to Randy. They gave it to so, Randy. So like, yeah. what? What's what's the point? I, I'm gonna unless get to they're later. trying to, unless they're gonna have Randy. Be... No, I'm done. No, no, okay. more, no more fantasy booking. Okay, never no mind. No more fantasy booking about who's in charge of retribution. You just freaking suck. Stop it. Stop it. I really don't. But did you try? I did. Drew retains the title again. Five one handicap match, and then we have. One of it's not the best match in terms of like actual action. It's the, the best match in terms of storytelling. storytelling. Yes, this was absolutely great. This is this is one of the best times for when since we have these current events and there are no fans, you're able to hear people in the rain. Yeah, and, Re- and Roman is able to talk. Jay is able to talk. Yeah, everybody's able to speak and be heard. So it makes the match. It amplifies the match in a way. But this was what we thought was going to be. It was going to be a complete and total beatdown. Yeah, or a squash Jay. match. But Jay did get some offense in. He got some near he falls did. in. This was really, really good uh, in terms of that because t- uh, at the beginning it was all Roman. He's just beating him up, talking yeah, down, yeah, to him, it is. saying like, "You want to take this ass? Well, yeah, you this take your this cousin, payday, though. and you're gonna get the frick out of here." You know, this is your cousin, though, I know. Roman. But Jay, Jesus. Jay ends up getting some offense in. Damn near gets the. Gets a nice little two count, but Roman, and when he kicks out, inadvertently, inadvertently, allegedly, um, I'm allegedly, allegedly, inadvertently, mm-hmm. uh, as he kicks out, arm goes up, hits hits Jay in the Usos, and completely takes him out. And from then on, it's all Roman. Roman spears him. He's like, I need you to admit that I am the tribal chief. I'm the one at the head of the table. I'm the one who's running this whole family. This is me. This yeah. is my time. Yeah. Jay refuses. Another spear. Yeah. I need you to admit that Paul is up at ringside going yeah. like, yo, yeah. you Please. are the chief. Yeah. You are the chief. He's like, I don't care if you say it. Yeah. I need him no, to say No, he was it. like, I don't care about you. I want you to say, I'm like, well, damn, Roman. Like, like, that's the whole point of me doing this. Yeah. Which which kind of makes you think, like, this was planned it by was. Roman. I think this was, it, it makes Roman feel like a mastermind. Yeah. Because, like, if it was anybody else, it'd just be a beatdown. But I yeah. think he really wanted this to happen. So we might end up finding out that uh, 
who knows, Roman may have convinced Sheamus to to take Big E out so that he can insert his his, uh, his cousin. Ooh. That might be a little interesting thing coming from this because like it's Please it's, let it's that be a storyline. It is. It's too coincidental it for his, his, his cousin to be there yes. and for him to need somebody to admit that he is the tribal right. chief. Right. But the whole time he's beating him down. That's right. This match was supposed to be for Big E. Yeah. He was supposed to be in that. Yeah. Yeah. So he's, okay. beating, he's beating down Jay. Jimmy finally runs down uh, to throw in the towel. Yeah. But Jay's like, no. They even break, they even break kayfabe on this word. Yeah, he starts did. calling him by his real name. Oh, yeah. Right. He got called by his government name. Yeah. He's like, nah, man. Don't throw it in. Don't throw it in. Right. Don't throw it in. I still got this. Don't throw it in. He finally throws it in because he's not. Roman was not letting up. Yeah. Uh, Jay, uh, Jimmy goes in, saves his brother. He's like, you the yeah. chief, man. You the chief. Is this what you want? This is your cousin. It's your blood. I can do this. It was just, yeah. oh, perfect. It Absolutely was. perfect. And now, I might be wrong. I'm thinking this is going to be something that Jimmy did. Oh, definitely. Because we don't know what. It's got Jimmy to be threw in the towel. Jay did not want the towel thrown in. Not only that, we all know as, yeah, I'm going to say this. Okay. Black folk, you know when you get called by your government name. Who government name that's on your... Social security card. You done did some shit. Yeah, yeah, they say they don't do it. He said don't do it, but he threw it in anyway. Yeah. But Roman retains championship. Probably one of the better endings to a match I've ever seen in, in recent memory. Go like if, if I had to choose some some must-see matches, Sami Zayn, Oscar Zelina, and Roman Reigns match in terms of like absolutely amazing storytelling yeah. and work rate. Go ahead and watch those. Uh but this 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 whole thing with Roman Reigns is going to be the biggest thing he's going to get taken away from this because again, it's happening later on tonight because I know it's going to come going to come up on Friday, so whatever. Yeah. Later on tonight or on this this next uh, Friday night SmackDown, um, we're we're hopefully going to get some some information that's going to be happening with Roman Reigns, who's the next challenge going to be, what's going to be happening with Jimmy and Jay because if Jimmy shows up, he might be clear. To, uh, to go moving forward. It, it just might make a rift. If there might be a rift, who Between knows? Between the two brothers. Who knows what might happen? Maybe Jimmy will show up. We're gonna we're gonna figure out a lot of that stuff and it's gonna be, it's, it's what's making SmackDown far more interesting than Raw lately. Yeah. Uh, with, with this, in terms of just like, if I had to balance it out, if I had to yeah. add scales, I got SmackDown right here. It's definitely higher. Uh, than Raw, in, in my opinion, for that one. Uh, but what would you give this rating? Uh, how would you rate this pay-per-view? I, to be quite honest, I would give this rating a solid B. You know what? A solid B is a yeah. good way to place this. Uh, which, which, let's be fair. Mm -hmm. As as much as we crap on WWE, as yeah. much as we prefer, like when Wednesday nights happen, it's usually AEW versus NXT. We still yeah. watch them both. Yeah. But like in terms of like a live viewing, we, we watch AEW more. We're more excited about those rare pay per views uh, or New Japan uh, uh, specials yeah. than we are about most of the WWE pay per views. Let's be real. Since yeah. these current events have happened, they have actually been putting on some pretty good. Uh, solid, consistent pay per views, save for the one that happened at Payback. But that was like, it, he had a week of change. Yeah. He had, he had a week again, turnaround. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they did they, they, they okay. They could have gone without that and have. built everything else yeah. up, found some way to make it work, but it's whatever. They did it. But like, I'm going to be fair to the big company, WWE. When it comes to their, a lot of their pay per views uh, along this line, they have been pretty consistently. Good, mm. like I, I, good's doing a lot of work, but it's better. They're better than okay, but they're not like, oh man, it's very good. So it's so like we're gonna say they're good. Yeah, they're they're good. They're good. Yeah. They're good with an asterisk. There they're go. good with an asterisk. And this one was good. It was very good. It was a nice B, not an A. Could have been an A if the middle pots were were a little bit better. If we got some more cohesion with the storylines, if we got some uh, going along there. But it's it's been good. It's yeah. been good. So Thank so you. this was a good pay per view. Not a must see. Some elements are must see, but it's a, it's a good pay per view. But anyway, tell us what you thought about Clash of Champions. Let us know in the comments down below because we do want to hear from you. Our Kaiju faithful. Also head on over to patreoncom slash Kill where you can get some updates on the site, the store, and the channel. Also throw us your recommendations for any uh, pay per views that you would like us to watch. Uh, some old ones. Let, throw any recommendations for movies that you wanted to review because we want to have some some new movie reviews coming up for old and obscure movies. Uh, 
that's going to be heading up over there on Patreon. Yes. Also, uh, it's the month of October. It's the month of October, so we're going to have some spooky scares coming your way uh, in the next month. So until then, we'll have to catch y'all later. Thank you guys again for watching. Deuces. <laughs>